name is JJ Styler and I'm with NCIMS and we are here this morning to give you guys a little preview about what um, we can expect on March 12th with one of our speaker sponsors Forum Health. So welcome Adam Putkemer. He is the president of Forum Health, Forum Health and Ryan Obermeyer and he is the vice president of acquisition and growth. Welcome. Thanks for joining me. We're so time. excited to be here and so excited to be participating in this. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot for having us. Thank you. And thanks for uh, making a little bit of time this morning for us to share what what folks can look forward to. Um, you know, we we know that you all are a great uh, service for clinicians. And uh, so I wanted to make sure that our folks had a little bit of time to learn a little bit more about what you all offer. So. Um, as far as what Forum Health really is um, great at out in, in your world, um, what, are, what do you think are the greatest challenges facing the owners and operators of integrative and functional medicine clinics out there right now? Yeah, I think one of the greatest challenges that I see when I speak to physicians across the country is many times they get stuck working in the business as opposed to on the business. I can't tell you how many times I've had conversations over the course of my career where Physicians will invest in themselves and they'll attend a weekend event, um, a seminar. They get very excited about what they hear. They start making plans, but then what happens? Monday happens and they get pulled back, working back in the business. At Forum Health, we have a support system, right, for all that non-clinical burden so we can start instituting change at the local clinic level and we really, we use a filter, which we call CFO. It stands for clinical, financial, and operational. So nearly every change or every decision that's made at the clinic gets put through this funnel. So we are ensured that we're making the right decision for the practice. So I, I you know, really just to answer your question is, I think what happens is there's a lot of great ideas, a lot of creativity, but there's a lack of time. And with the support in the non-clinical burden, Forum Health delivers. Great, great. So as far as um, you, you guys have a pretty big network of, of providers, right? So how might a large entity like Forum Health uh, impact healthcare in our country? Yeah, I think, you know, currently practices are really an island. They're this N of one. And we know, uh, you know, traveling from clinic to clinic, they're having great success treating patients. But again, the data always becomes this N of one and you cannot collect the data across the country and really show results. So being the, being, having the power of a large group can really drive change in healthcare. We're able to collect data across a national level and then we can show the efficacy of it, whether it's clinical or financial, um, for example, we're you know about to publish our first retrospective chart review that has over 2,000 patients in it, and it's again from patients across the entire country. So we can really collect data, and then we can show it in such a way that you know is you know clinically relevant and showing that we're having success treating these you know oftentimes complex chronic illnesses, and then also financially that it makes more sense. So. I think having that large network is really gives you the ability to drive change in healthcare. That sounds really interesting to me. So all of that data is really about the success of functional medicine, right? Exactly. That's awesome. Um, you know, a lot of times we hear about the lack of evidence-based approaches in that space, right? That's one of the challenges because it is so customized a lot of times to the, the patient. So that's fascinating to me that you guys have such a, a great resource from that perspective. So um, what can folks that are coming to the event on March 12th expect uh, when they attend your program? Well, I think that they're going to walk away with several things, right? I think that they can take take some best practices, if we, if you will, from a non-clinical burden standpoint. They might learn a little bit on what, if they're eyeing an exit strategy, what might they need to do to understand um, the business itself and what an acquisition looks like. I, I typically say reward yourself for all the blood, sweat, and tears and sacrifice that it took to build the business. They're going to learn a little bit about 
uh, Forum Health and what we're doing as a network with the tribe that we're building, being able to create a network of like-minded providers across the country where the providers get to lean on each other, right? It's, we call it a Nero network at our organization because everybody's coming, coming to the table um, where we say everyone has a seat at the table and the idea that they get to bring their own expertise. And to have that support um, from your peers in a network, it really drives change at the local level as well. And ultimately we're here to change medicine in the United States. And then last but not least, we're gonna do a, uh, we're gonna do a case study or share a couple case studies on what we've done over the last couple of years with, a, with our, a few of our practices and really show that when you have a larger entity focusing in on that non-clinical burden, opening up the right brain so the physician can get back to creative creativity and vision casting, that great change can actually happen. And you're, you're really able to service a lot of patients that typically may not be, at, uh, may not be helped um, because whatever's happening at the clinic itself. So I know Adam's super excited. We're going to have Dr. Shilpa Saxena on, on um, the event uh, that's coming up here in the next month or so. And, you know, we're excited as an organization to kind of share our success, um, our business model, and, you know, how we can help any physician who might have interest in further conversations with Forum Health. I think one thing I would add is a lot of providers, you know, I've been in this space for over 15 years. A lot of providers, you know, they, they had to leave conventional care to do practice medicine the way they want to practice medicine. But oftentimes it wasn't because they had a burning desire to be an entrepreneur and own their own clinic. It was, that's what they needed to do to practice medicine. And so when you can then become, again, part of something bigger and a part of a group that thinks in a similar fashion that you do, um, might practice slightly different, but again, philosophically understands the idea of integrative and functional medicine um, now you've, you've got that neural network that you can use. And I think, you know, Ryan said it really well. It's, you know, we've got different ways that the providers communicate, whether it's, hey, let's talk about some new device or equipment that just came out and maybe somebody's already used it and they can share their insight. Or it might just be, you've got a really difficult patient and you want a group of people thinking about that, that case with you. So there's areas where you can talk about that. And now all of a sudden you have, you know, almost 30 clinics with, you know, I, you know, 50, 60 providers that are like, hey, did you think of this? Did you do this? I've had a patient that has had similar things. So I think it's really interesting when you bring, again, this group together and allow them to exchange ideas. And again, sometimes it's clinical, sometimes it's operational, but it gives you the kind of that full scope. Well, great. I mean, we know that that's probably the number one thing that, that our members and attendees appreciate is that they really are part of a community. So it's, an, it's a very nice alignment that we share between Forum Health and NCIMS. So thank you for that. And I am sure that uh, many of our folks attending in March will appreciate what you all have to share. So thanks this morning for joining me to tell them a little bit about what you all do. And um, for folks that are tuning in, uh, if you have not already received an email from us or checked out the Facebook page, you can register at ncims.com and we will see you in March. Thanks. Yeah, we're excited to see you in March. Thank you.